Hello, this is Chuck, and we are playing Siberia. Now, I have Siberia 2 on my channel, because at the time I could not actually record Siberia 1, because I did not know about OBS. I perhaps couldn't record it. The, all the videos... Audio turns out fine. <laughs> audio is great. The video on the hand, other hand looked like just pitch black darkness, which wouldn't really make for a good LP. So I decided it's a fine time to get the, the entire series, entirety of the series, all two games on my channel. So here we go, playing Siberia. Um, I feel like it's going to be a bit weird. Just because I've, the past previous games has been Dreamfall Chapters and Life is Strange in terms of adventure games. And now I'm going back to the... I was about to say classic, but it's not that classic. I guess the pre-modern, modern? I don't know. It's like, I consider that there's three ages to the adventure game genres. You had like the classics back in the day. And then you got stuff like Siberia, Art of Murder. Uh, I guess, dare say Nancy Drew. And then you got the new age, which is Life is Strange. Um, basically, in the... Anything by Telltale Games, and we'll see what happens goes from there in terms of how adventure game's gonna go. But let's start Siberia. Okay, so, man, let's uh, have a look at these pamphlets here. Um, let's see, welcome to Valladolid. Valladolid? I'm assuming that's how it's said. It's been so long. <laughs> I have played this game before, but it's been some time, so what I remember and what I don't remember is going to come into... It's gonna... I have to question that. The world capital of mechanical toys. Let yourself be transported by the magnificent landscape surrounding Valladolid, a small charming town tucked away in the Alps, and by Vorlberg Manufacturing, whose exceptional savoir-faire in the specialized world of luxury mechanical toys and automatons is at the root of Valladolid. Avala Deline's <laughs> reputation around the world. I'm having really trouble saying this. For 800 years, the Vorlberg family has passed its knowledge from generation to generation, perfecting the art of that particular branch of clock making that breathes life into the complex network of cogs and spindles that make up automatons. Its creative wonders once defied belief and drew the admiration of young and old alike. People would come from across Europe for a chance to vie for their right to own one of these fantastic toys. Unequaled savoir-faire. 
savoir faire, I can't say, it's French. The heart of the mechanical automaton is its motor, a series of spindles that are set in motion to music via a set of cogs. Attached to the spindles are cams that are shaped in the image of the music. In turn, they command a series of rods which control the gesture of the toy at their tip. Automaton construction takes place in three stages, modeling, mechanics, and casing. The process requires the participation of 20 different specialized trades. In its heyday, the Vorlberg factory employed over 100 craftsmen, mechanics, watchmakers, sculptors, tailors, and dressmakers, working in separate workshops. Vorlberg automatons all have two distinguishing features in common, their high precision me mechanisms and the characteristic Vorlberg winding up key. Devising and assembling each model is a meticulous process. Standard toys are constructed from local wood, while the most sophisticated ones use more precise resources such as ebony imported from Madagascar. Despite competition from Asia, Vorlbergs never gave in to the temptation to produce electric robots and chose to continue their exploration of the mysteries of perpetual mechanical motion. The Vorlbergs have come a long way from their simple jointed puppets of yesteryear. Today, their creations are so lifelike, one has the impression that they can think for themselves. The first signs of puppet manufacture in Valladolid go back f the, to the, I can't read that, century. While there was maybe no definite pup puppet industry at the time, Hermann Vorlberg's renown was recognized even in the court of the emperor. Oh, there's still more. It was not until the... Oh my god. Is that 15? Is that... I... You want, I don't know, century, that Charles Vorberg founded the Vorberg Mechanical Toy and Puppet Factory, and industrial activity in the valley really took off. The reputation of Valladoline and its famous toys then just kept growing and growing. The turn of the 20th century was Valladoline's golden age as expressed in the factory's impressive architecture and the main houses of the town. The Vorlberg reputation crossed the oceans, dispatching its fine precision me mechanisms across the globe to delighted buyers who began to believe that Vorlberg automatons had a life of their own. Since the end of the Second World War, the destiny of the factory has been in the hands of Rudolf's daughter, Anna Vorlberg, the last and sole descendant of the prestigious, prestigious line of pressmen. This inspiring figure negotiated the business through the end of the war. She breathed new life into production by creating works of art to appeal to experts and enthusiasts alike. Vorlberg, Vorlberg automatons became rare collector's items with highly innovative mechanisms of unequaled ingenious even to this day. Okay. So that is the... What? Something here. The seat? I really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. Okay, I'm assuming that is... Personal fire. Okay, dialogue notebook. It's gonna be a while it's for me to remember how to play this game. We have a cell phone here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm, well. Assuming this is it. I need a key. Oh, wait, this here. I see it. It's just saw it in the last second. I need a key. Oh, shoot. Okay, now let's press the button since everything has to be winded up. Okay, okay, I'm coming. And I just realized that there's another kid Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. Uh, I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. The name is Kate Walker. Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor up. 
Thank you. Hello, my name is Kate Walker and... Of course, of course. Walker, room six, next floor up. Oh, okay. It... I was expecting it to cross out, but I guess it doesn't. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say? That you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Hans' house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? Ah. Oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see, today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Momo sad, but Hans not dead. Hans long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo! Stop pestering the lady! Now go on, scram! Get out of here, you hear? What was I saying? Oh yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Valet de Laine, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is... dead? Okay. So that's news to Kate. Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need anything at all, we're not far away, Miss Walker. Okay. Mm. I don't need that for the time being. Okay, nothing for that yet. Let's have a look at this letter that we are apparently left. <laughs> okay, it's apparently to read it, she puts it in her jacket. Um... Marston Laws is from Marston Laws from Edward Marston. Dear Kate, our client, the Universal Toy Company, is more than eager to see conclusions from the talks with Warburg Manufacturing with view to a takeover in the days to come, and we have received notification to this effect. We are counting on your undoubted qualities as a business lawyer to bring negotiations with Madame Anna Warburg, the current owner, to a close. Allow me to remind you that the Universal Toy Company is a multinational. Which, is a, which has a monopoly on the toy market. It is a Class A priority client who is also representing, who is also presenting Madame Vorlberg with a golden opportunity to sell her factory. You should remind her to, of this fact in case she starts having last minute second thoughts before signing the purchase agreement. I am under no doubt that you will live up to the great expectations I have in you, Edward Marson. I should um. tell Marson about the death of Miss Vorlberg. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. Okay, and so I'm assuming we use the... Um, right. Oh, wait. Nope. Uh, okay. I'm assuming... No, facts. Nope, damn it. Okay. Facts. See a fact we have. Where's the telephone number? Uh, tw tw okay, that's a bit odd. Uh, 124589 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12
It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. Hello, Kate. So tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valady Lynn, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... <sighs> okay. So, mm, Let's have a dialogue. Mission, help Hans, Momo. So, a lot of dialogue. Alright then. I mean, well, we need to find the nor notoriety office. Let's head downstairs. If I'm calling correctly, there really isn't nothing much up here except for her, um, her, her, her room. I'm back again. Miss Walker. Uh. Did you know Anna Varlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. Did you know Anna Varlberg oh. yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I... Sorry, I'm used to, like, the secret world where there's more than one <laughs> dialogue option when you click on, the t on them. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. <laughs> who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid, no, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy, no. Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, and Anna took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. The young boy who was here earlier talked about, uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. I think I'm going to need your help again. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived, or if a customer came through the door. We don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, no biggie. You know, didn't you say that you barely get any guests and now you're saying you don't have any time? <laughs> okay. Um. A uh, mission. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. And time to read it <laughs> against her breast. Dear Maitre, Meta, I don't know, Alfolta, as you're no doubt aware, our practice is charged with undertaking negotiations for the takeover of the Vorborg manufacturing by our clients of the Universal Toy Company. 
is with great sadness that we learn of the recent death of the manager and owner of the factory, Madame Vorlberg, with whom negotiations had started. We are under no doubt that Madame Vorlberg left you instructions before her death, enabling this sale to be concluded. We should remind you of the significant boost the arrival of the American national would bring to the economy of your region. It is for this reason that I am sure you will give our representative, Ms. Kate Walker, a warm welcome. Yours faithfully, Edward Marson. Thank you. At your service. With that, I am going to end the set here. I'm going to go look around Valadie Len. See you later. As you like, miss. So you got basically the setup for the story. So thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. And until next time, guys, see ya!